Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Andy, and I'm joined this afternoon by Dave Chidley. Hello. Hi. How are you? And you're head of sales at Fred River Cruises. That's right. Brilliant. Yes. Well, thank you very much for viewing, and we'll be back <laughs> next week. Um, I should point a couple of things out. Firstly, that we are live on Facebook. So if you are watching us live, and today's Tuesday. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Horrible day outside, which is why, incidentally, we've moved to the what looks like the Caribbean. Which is perfect for river cruising. I always think, so the river cruise backdrop that we ordered hasn't quite arrived okay. yet, so that's why we're in the South Pacific. But we just thought a bit of sunshine uh, on what is a horrible weather day here in London and also a fairly sad day for the travel industry overall this week. Uh, so we, what we thought we'd do uh, is bring some sunshine and some clouds. And it's very thoughtful of you, Andy. You're welcome. <laughs> In fact, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're here for about the next 30 minutes, 25, 20, 30, depends how it goes. Depends how much you're gonna tell us about uh, Fred River Cruises. Um, anyway, I was also saying, please, if you have a question for Dave uh, about any of the brands that we're going to discuss today or anything at all to do with river cruising uh, or indeed Brexit or uh, the state of the pan. Oh no, I'm joking. Uh, any questions about River Cruise or specifically about Fred River cruisers then do put them onto Facebook and Toby who is our I don't know I'm just going to promote you to studio manager then wow. how about that okay uh, anyway so we'll see them and then we can ask Dave for you so that's how that works uh, Dave I've known you a long time it's been a few years is not it it has been a while you haven't always been at Fred River Cruiser so tell us a bit about you okay yeah so I joined the cruise industry in 2004 uh, with Royal Caribbean Cruise Line uh, working with my good friend Michelle Russell. Bless her. He's a friend, friend of ours. And, yes, uh, indeed. We, we worked together for the cruising for excellence for, for Royal Caribbean. I uh, stayed there for about 12 years. Did you really? Must have been, well, yeah, a long time. Uh, working my way through the sales team. Uh, As it were. Actually, yeah. yeah. And, um, <laughs> and then, hmm, then ended up um, with the lovely Catherine Beadle at UniWorld, um, which was about three or four years ago now, um, helping Catherine bring the UniWorld brand, which is my, my first foray in to River Cruise, uh, which was great. So that was about four years ago. Uh, and then last year, um, I was um, sort of having a chat with Steve Williams and, and Jeff Ridgen, yeah. and uh, who worked for Fred Olson, uh, the, the travel side of Fred Olson. And um, they invited me to come and work with them. So I've been with Fred Olson Travel for um, about right. a year and a half. Yeah, and we're going we're gonna to have to ask around that. But before yes. I do that, how was the switch from ocean to river? Because they're very different experiences. Yeah, they are. And what was interesting, back in 2004, um, I joined in the Ocean Cruise when it was on its sort of early days and people had only really heard of P&O and Cunard. Right. Uh, Royal Caribbean were uh, only really in the Caribbean. Um, so I was part of that sort of revolution of, of ocean cruising coming over to the UK, which yeah. is very exciting. Uh, then over the years, the, the more and more cruise lines became established over here because uh, of the wonderful work that Clear did. Oh, uh, you, smoothie. <laughs> and um, then um, your river cruise started to come on the scene and I was sort of aware of it again through, through Clear about yeah. probably five or six years ago, it started to make a bit of an impact. Um, so when Catherine um, and the, uh, the opportunity came up with UniWorld, uh, I thought, well, let's, let's go back to yeah. how it was in the early days on the ocean and see if we can do the same with river cruise. And, Hopefully we're, we're making a, a way forward with that. And was it a good choice? Because yeah. they are very different yeah. businesses in many ways as well. They are. And um, what we found though is a lot of the, the key accounts that we've been working with and the partners that we've had uh, in the past in Ocean yeah. are also keen to make that jump into River. Um, so it's been great to try bring them along on the journey as well. Yeah. So it, it's, it's been different in the product, but it's been very similar in the way that we've marketed it and the way that we've, we've worked with the trade partners to, to try and get the message out. Great. And actually, one of the reasons that river cruising has grown and become more established is uh, because agents are much more confident in it. They understand uh, which customers would suit which products and things. So there's yeah. been a lot, lot of good work done by travel agents as well. Absolutely, yeah. And I, and I think, again, in the earlier days of, of river cruise, there was only a, a couple that people really knew of. But yeah. now, if you were to look down the list, there's what, about 12, 14, 16 that, that people can book. Yeah. So there is a big old, uh, big old uh, lot of cruise lines out there. Yes, exactly. Lots of choice. Um, 
We should clear up the Fred Olsen thing because there's lots of Fred brands banded around at the moment. So why yes. don't you clear that up? Okay. I thought you'd ask this question. Thank you. And I and, you know, yes, please do. <laughs> okay. So um, so we've got Fred Olsen Cruise Line, which everybody know, uh, very popular, yep. very well known uh, river cruise com- um, ocean cruise company. Uh, and Fred Olsen Cruise Line has a sort of subsidiary or, or, or um, a sister side, which yep. is Fred Olsen Travel. Yes. Uh, Fred Olsen Travel has travel agents in it. So we've got the the, the, the retail shops and uh, Go Cruise. The the travel yep. agents are part of that. Um, but also there there is Fred Holidays, which is part of that as well. Now Fred Holidays do a lot of uh, land-based holidays and uh, probably a lot of people watching will use Fred Holidays for some German tours. They, they used, okay. Dirt Tour used to be part of it. Um, they've just taken on Colette as well, which is a, a, a new one that they're the GSA for. So they do all things dry, if right. you like, in Fred, right. Fred Holidays. And we do all the things wet. Nice. If that makes sense. Yeah. So we, we actually are a subsidiary of that and we're Fred Rivers. So we just concentrate on anything to do with rivers. Okay. Uh, and we kind of split ourselves into two. Uh, one part, we can actually act as a travel agent for travel agents. So if you're thinking, crikey, uh, I've got a customer here, they want to go on a river cruise to the Nile, haven't spoken to anyone from Egypt for ages, who, who, who can we speak okay. to? Then they can give us a call okay. and we can help them with that. So we can source any river cruise company. But we also are the GSA for quite a few different brands. Okay. Um, but we're, there, there are seven of them, but three of them are, are clear members, which we'll, we'll, which we'll, we'll talk, talk about. about. Yes. So. Okay, so that kind of clears that up. But, so, and, but, <laughs> clear as mud. Clear as mud. But that, uh, so there are some... River cruise lines that you specifically work with and yes. represent them in the UK, and right. but you can book others as well. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So our, our knowledgeable team of uh, reservations staff have, have worked in travel agents over the past. They've okay. worked with us. Um, I think. Uh, well, we've got people going back 10, 15, 20 years who are experts in this particular field. So, okay. yeah, cool. So let's let's talk about those brands that we're going to talk about today. So let's start with Amadeus. Yes. Uh, well, tell us a bit about them. Who are they? Where where do they mainly cruise, and what's the experience like? And in the meantime, I'll have a yeah, slurp yeah, of my tea. Do. You carry yeah, on. Yeah, okay. Um, so Amadeus, it's um, a predominantly a European river cruise brand, um, Austrian. Uh, family run um, product, uh, the Lufner, Dr. Lufner owns it and his family are very uh, involved in, in what happens. Big supporters of Clear as yeah, well, very much so. uh, which is great. And um, at the Clear Cruise Conference, um, which will be what, in about six weeks now, I guess. Don't like that. say that. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> It's coming around quickly. <laughs> it's coming very quickly. In, in Amsterdam, one yeah. of our ships will be there as well. So um, if you're coming along to that, you'll yeah, see that's another really ship. exciting. Because you haven't had a ship in for a while. Yeah, well, the, the last time we had a ship, um, it was just about to be refurbished. Oh, so, okay. uh, yeah, so we've got a, a, one of our new ships there, which, which is great. Um, and these ships sail Europe. So all the main rivers of Europe, like the Danube, the Main, the Rhine, the Rhone, etc. Uh, they'll go pretty much where all the other river cruise companies go. But we've got a, a few things that sort of separate us from, from anyone else. And one of those is on the Danube. Now the Danube is quite congested. There's a lot of uh, river, a um, lot of uh, lots of traffic, yep. a lot of traffic on the Danube. But when you get right down towards the end, down to the Danube Delta, there's hardly anybody that goes down there. And Amadeus are um, one of the only ones that go right down to the Danube Delta and into that into that area. So that makes us very unique. So that's literally at the end of the Danube as it goes into the Black that's Sea. That's it. Yeah, lots of people sort of stop a good sort of what 20, 30 miles away, and uh, and then the ship turns around. But this continues on down into there. Um, unfortunately, other cruise lines are getting the uh, gist of this and thinking, ah. oh, this is a place where people want to go. But as it stands at the moment, we're one of the only ones that, that go down there. And what and what's that experience like at the on the Delta? Yeah, so for, if you're into your sort of bird watching and your fauna and your flora, and you're very interested in um, that sort of the, 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 the natural side of uh, of a destination, then that's perfect for that. Um, the the actual um, area is third behind the Galapagos and the Great Barrier Reef in terms of its beauty and the, the fauna and, oh, really? and the animals that you'll see there. So yeah. if you didn't want to have to travel all the way to Australia or all no, the way no. over to South America, then yeah, the Danube Delta is a great place for that. So great for nature lovers, wildlife lovers, people like that. Yeah, photographers, people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, so that was your first point of difference. Yes. What else is different? Yeah, and the second point of difference is that we are um, a, a five-star river cruise line, uh, but you'll find that our leading price 
price is slightly cheaper than our competitors. And the reason we do that is because we don't include our tours on in the price. Ah, okay. So you've got an option as a customer, or your customer has an option to choose to have an all-inclusive tour option, or they can buy as they go, or buy these little packages. Uh, and that's perfect if you think about the age demographic of a cruiser, who might be a little bit older, uh, and they might not, if they've paid for an all-inclusive cruise, they might feel like they have to go on every one of those excursions, morning and afternoon. Whereas, and if it's been paid, we'll do the same. Okay. If it's included, we'll, we'll take the most sure. of it, don't we? But, um, so, so we give the option for the, for the customers okay. to do that. Um, but what we have done for this month, because uh, it's clear cruise month, it we, is. we've actually included one of the packages complimentary, uh, if you book in September, uh, for any Amadeus cruise going forward. So oh, um, so not only will you get the lower price, but you'll also get the excursions uh, included oh, as well. So um, yes, yeah, so that's our second point of, of, uh, nice. of difference. So that gives them that choice around excursions, which is nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then the ships themselves, are they as similar to some of the other brands available, so quite modern and choice of dining, yeah, etc. Yeah, they really are. The, 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 well, the food and the, the Austrian hospitality is fantastic. So yeah. it's something I noticed when, when we stepped on board. In fact, I went on board uh, an Amadeus ship sort of accidentally a few years ago when I was working for another cruise Hang line. On, what do you mean accidentally? So, so it, was a, it, was a, it was a clear <laughs> event. Oh dear. Uh, and um, and okay. I was just sort of walking along and I knew someone that worked in there, so I thought I'd pop my head in. Right. And I was absolutely blown away by it. I didn't know anything about Amadeus at the time. I didn't really know who they were. Um, but uh, and it's quite funny that I now work for them. Yeah. Sort of three years later, out of the six ships that were there, I, I thought it was the, the best ship. Um, yeah. So that was that was quite interesting. So similar. So uh, yeah, choice of dining. Yeah. So the dining and the uh, the way that um, you're, you're treated, the hospitality is fantastic. Yeah. But the ships themselves are, are beautiful. They're, they're, they're really really nice. Very very modern. Uh, we've got a new ship that's just come out this year. There'll be a new one next year. So the fleet um, are, are very modern as well. And if it's a slightly older ship, then it'll be refurbished and uh, into the style of the new one. So yeah, if you like a contemporary, modern, um, beautifully designed ship, then they're, they're, they're perfect. And you include the usual, so are there bicycles on board, for example, yeah, and all of those usual facilities? That's it, yeah. So so no matter what sort of fitness you want to do, and, right. and, and then some of them have pools on board as well, which, right. is, which is quite nice. You can go for a dip and uh, yeah, which is a nice little uh, extra. And the mix of guests on board, is it... It's not only British. No, it's not. No, we want more British, which is why I'm here today. Sure. <laughs> so uh, it really is a mix. Um, we've got a big um, presence in the USA and Australia. Okay. Um, we've got a lot in Europe, uh, and obviously um, we're doing our job to, to bring more more Brits on board. But yeah, you will okay. find a, find a good mix. A nice mix. And then and you mentioned the rivers before that you did most of them. So Rhine, Danube, and then some the, the French rivers. Yeah, absolutely. Duro. Uh, we don't do the duo, okay. no, no. So maybe that's something that we'll look, look to do in the future. Sure. But yeah, the man's on sort of mainland Europe, if you imagine okay. the map of map of Europe, it's Great. pretty much that. So, and as you say, opportunity to see one of the ships, uh, Clear River Conference, and that's November 10th and 11th, if you haven't booked already, uh, uh, which is very exciting. Lots of ships to see, but one of yours, and I haven't seen one of yours for a long time. Very good. Yes, looking well, forward well, to well, that. I'll buy you a drink. That would be very kind. <laughs> uh, no, you were just um, Okay. <laughs> Uh, so let's move on to one of your other brands that you look after, and that's American Cruise Line. Mm -hmm. um, now, presumably, judging by its name, that's based in the United States. Yes. Funny, yeah. It's like I'm a detective yeah. or something. Well, coincidence, that is, yeah. So tell yeah. us a bit about American Cruise Line. So American Cruise Line uh, is a fantastic brand, and um, we all know how wonderful Jane McDonald's been for the cruise industry. And yes. probably about a year ago, one of the, the cruises that she did was on the Mississippi. Um, and it wasn't with our brand, but we are a competitor of the brand that she was on. Um, but we offer a um, very similar type of experience to what you would have seen if you watched the Jane McDonald program. Okay. Um, so we have two types of ships on all of the rivers of America. So it's not just the Mississippi, although that's probably the most popular one. Yeah. Got the Snake and Columbia River, the Hudson. Which is Seattle side, isn't it? That yeah. side, north, so the north, north of west. west. west yes. We voted the same thing. Okay, so northwest of the United States. Yeah. Shredded wheat, was that, is that what you had to... Oh, eat? is that how you do it? Something like that. Yeah, anyway. Oh yeah, that does work. Yeah, so you did that. Yeah. So up there, by yes. the wheat. Um, so that's the Snake and Columbia River. We've got the Hudson, which goes sort of through New York, New York State and up. Yeah. Um, we also have ships that go um, on the inside passage of Alaska. So uh, if you're think, thinking of doing Alaska, but you don't want to do it on a huge ship with a thousand, two thousand people, these will hold 100, 150 people and you get right, literally right into so the So really a coastal passage. voyage. Coastal voyage. Yeah. Uh, and the same on the... Eat. 
East Coast. Um, <laughs> yes, because there was one uh, when I went to Washington uh, recently. There was a ship in right. port there, and I don't know where, what you call the port, but it was quite close to Washington yeah, DC. So, yeah, and that's a sort of coastal up um, of this time of year in the fall. Absolutely fantastic, Beautiful, going yeah. up into sort of Boston and up into into Maine and what have you. So, so we do. So lots of choice. Lots of choice. Yeah, the Mississippi is probably the most popular. Yeah. Um, something that's quite strange about American cruise lines, in the sense, is that the Americans love river cruising yes and they have to generally come over to Europe to experience a yeah. river cruise so they love the European style river cruise ships now uh, because American cruise lines own the, um, the the yard where these ships are built we can build to, to demand right so the Americans like these American style um, the European style river ships so we built some very modern European style river ships to go on the river of America or the rivers of America oh, so even though so the European ships are built to, uh, to go under bridges and go through locks and things like that. So even though they don't have those restrictions, they still they have still like that type. Really? Yeah. That's so we can make them a bit wider and a bit yeah. taller, but yeah. generally the feel. Um, yeah. So That's us Brits, though, if we were to go to, on we're the Mississippi, a fickle bunch. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah we'd go to America. We wouldn't want to go on the European style. We'd want one of the paddle steamers. That's yes. how we imagine the Mississippi. Yes. Um, the, the whole sort of Tom Sawyer that, yeah. that type of feel. The romantic feel. The romantic feel of uh, yes, sort of New Orleans or yes, the exactly. paddle steamer. And um, so we actually now offer either a European style ship or a paddle steamer okay. in pretty much all of the destinations that we go to. So for the Brits, you'd really want to go on one of the paddle Absolutely. steamers. Absolutely. Uh, but for, yeah, if you, oh, okay. if you like the European style, you can go on those. Nice. As well. And then are the paddle steamers bigger than the European style ships? They, they look yeah. it size wise. They tend to be sort of a bit taller yeah. and a little bit longer and you can get a few more people on there. But what, what these um, the guys at American Cruise Line have tried to do is make sure the ships are a nice big size but not fill it with people. Okay. So against our competitor, uh, who can't Whoever name they obviously, are. Yeah, um, they're, they're roughly the same size ship but they have a lot more people on board. Okay. So um, th in fact the, the cabins on the American Cruise Line are some of the biggest cabins in the whole of the river cruise industry across the world okay so but uh, yeah and then the dining on board is very typical American dining. Yes. It yes. has to reflect the country it's sailing in, I guess. Yeah, I think everything about this is as Americana as you can possibly get. So food, very American. The um, the, the, the service on board, very American. Obviously, the feel is very American yeah. on board. Um, but the food is fantastic. Uh, I was ha lucky enough to go on there for a week just before Christmas last year. Nice. Uh, it was fabulous. Really great. And you did the Mississippi? We did the Mississippi. So we started in New Orleans, had a, uh, a night in... Oh, a night and a morning in New Orleans. Did you? Was it a late one? It was, you have to do New Orleans. And you you never learn. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but New Orleans is fantastic. So yeah, we went there, and, uh, and then that, that that cruise can go all the way up to Memphis, or you can sort of break it at Vicksburg, and it comes back down again. Um, but it really is that the, the feel on board is um, Americana. So from the food, um, everything on board is um, there's no buffet, so it's all. Um, oh, table okay. service, okay. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, there's no wastage as well, which you get on the buffet, and they're very keen for that. So you kind of give a, the chef an idea of what you want for dinner that evening. Okay. Uh, so there isn't a lot of waste right. because, as we know on other cruise ships, right. the, the waste from the dinner the night before is your buffet steady, the next day. Steady, so. steady, steady. <laughs> <Ish. laughs> um, so it's it's a nice um, it's a nice freshly cooked meal. Um, three times a day yeah. and the entertainment so we have historians on board uh, we were very fortunate to have this, this fantastic couple uh, um, a man and uh, wife uh, husband and wife affair on board who um, one was a singer and dancer and the other one was a historian and pianist so together they put on oh, these, nice. these fantastic shows uh, and because it was nearly Christmas as well it had a very festive feel okay. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if you, anyone's been to sort of the, the Mississippi around Christmas time. Um, there's a lot of obviously heartache from the history there um, with, the, with the plantations and the sure, mansions. Sure. Uh, but at Christmas time, they look phenomenal okay. when they're all uh, decked up. And excursions included? Excursions, yep. Yeah. There's three types of excursions, and you've got ones that are all inclusive, um, so you can probably choose between one or two of those a day. There's ones where you pay a small supplement, and there's one where you pay a, a larger supplement, okay. uh, and that's generally just down to numbers uh, okay. and, and, and what you're going to experience and, on them. Yeah, and the best time of year to go to the Mississippi? Well, because it, it must be year round, is it or it not? It is year round. It's very, very hot in the summertime, yeah. uh, so if you if you don't mind 
the blistering heat, which it really is, than going the summer. But we went, say, end of November, December last year, and it was beautiful. The weather was, was, yeah. was stunning, yeah. So about 25, 26 degrees every day, so it's lovely. And the Americans are very hospitable people. They, they know how to look after you and... Uh, they, and they do, yeah. yeah. Especially if you're an English lad. Yes, they love the accent. They like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask anymore. No, 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 don't. <laughs> Let's leave America then, and, and thank you for that summary. Let's go to Asia. Asia is big news. It has been for a couple of years, and that doesn't seem to have slowed down, and you look after a brand called Pandor. Yeah, yeah, so, so Pandor is probably the most well-known brand that, that we have. We've had it since the beginning of the year. Um, the, the team who, who managed it before did an amazing job of getting the, the name of Pando out there. Um, what we've done now, we've got the ability to, to actually go out and work with our trade partners uh, to, to, um, to do events and to do shows and to, to really promote it to, to your customers. Right. Um, so Pando, fantastic brand, very well established, very, very authentic. And if you like the, the idea of, of traveling Asia, doing it in, a, in an authentic way, uh, in style, in a boutique style on a boutique type ship, then, then Pando is perfect for that. So um, we held an event in uh, Vietnam last year. Was it last year? Uh, yeah, yeah. Gosh, time flies. Uh, last year where we got the opportunity to see a bit of the Mekong and, and Pandora I know is big there, but there are other rivers as well. Yeah, so we've got rivers in China, in India, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia. Um, so yeah, so literally we're anywhere in India there. Uh, in, in India? Anywhere in Asia. In India. <laughs> anywhere in India. Uh, anywhere in Asia. Uh, and we are looking to expand that as well at, in India. Uh, we'll be looking to go on the Brahmaputra in India as oh, well. Right. So something quite different again. Um, so yeah, um, it, it's, it's not something I've experienced, but it's, okay. it's always been on my bucket list. It's something um, we took two of our girls out there a couple of uh, couple of months ago from the team. Uh, they experienced it and they said it was the most wonderful, um, authentic experience they could possibly get. Um, and you really get involved when when you're there. You're you're in with the locals. You're um, and Panda actually have a charity that's attached to them. I think there was a, a cyclone about ten years ago, um, and our ships were used as the, a, a hospital. Oh, wow. and, and, and from that, um, um, the, the the charity was was, right. was born. And I think they've built something like 17, um, 17 schools and there's lots of clinics all around. So, yeah, so and, they're and doing some good work. Doing some good work, but you can also go and visit that as well and you okay. can be part of it when you're, when you're out there. So how does the Asian River experience differ to that in Europe? Well, I, I guess with the Asian River experience, is, it's kind of untouched. You're going to places where not a lot of people are getting to. Um, certainly, a lot of the places that you will experience, the only way you can get there is through the river because uh, the, 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 the roads to get there aren't yeah. uh, what they need to be. So, um, yeah, so you're really experiencing the, the life um, as the locals would. Uh, I guess in Europe, um, the rivers in the, in the past were uh, the way that people got around, but mm. there's motorways and all sorts getting in there, but you wouldn't get that in Asia. So, yeah, you're seeing very remote places, places that you probably wouldn't have the ability to mm. do if you're going out there on your own and just, just sort of trekking and touring, you probably do need to get on a river to, to get to some of these places. Yeah, and Asia is such an amazing place in terms of culture and food and everything that's going on. So so let's talk food. Is it very local cuisine? Yeah, well, there, there, there's two options, actually. I'm, and I'm sure one of the girls who went on it wouldn't mind me saying, but she, she can be, not a fussy eater, but okay. um, one of the things that would concern me we for her... We won't name her. No, 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 no. <laughs> she'll know who, if she's watching. Okay. Um, but um, it would have concerned me for her thinking, crikey, what's she going to eat when she's yeah. on there? Um, but the food was fantastic. So it was obviously Asian style, yeah. uh, but there were European or westernized, if you like, um, options if you wanted. Okay. So it'd be quite plain, but it'd be a chicken of some sort okay. or a steak of some sort. But uh, yeah, so so for it would cater for but all But the food is phenomenal. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Um, and then size of ships, how many guests are on board? Yeah, so there's a, there's a whole range of different types of ships. So you've got the river going ships and there are some ships that, that hug the coast as well. So we've got ships that can hold as, as a small amount of 16 uh, and then some that go up to the, the 30s, 40s and 60s. So, so um, much smaller than European. Much smaller and, and, and you can pretty much, um, I know we had one family that looked to book and that family ended up basically chartering it. Really? And they didn't really realise. Well yeah, what a great way to go away with friends or family. Yeah, that's, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So it, the, the ship depends on where you're at. Uh, again, our, our res team will be able to help sort of point you in the direction of the type of ship. Okay. The numbers. Uh, now, there will be lots of uh, travel agents, but also lots of customers who won't have been to America, we mentioned with American Cruise Line, but also to Asia with Pandora. So are there pre and post bits that you can add on? 
Yeah, now the beauty of the, the team that we've got is that they're experts in, in packaging together. So we can be used almost like a tour up if you want and, and, and we can put together however you want it. Now we've got obviously agents from all over the country. They might want regionalized flights and that goes with Amadeus as well as America and, uh, and Asia as well. So if there is the possibility to do a regionalized flight, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly do that. Um, Pandel, if you were to book it directly with them, not only do you have to go through to Vietnam to do it, uh, it's usually in US dollars that you have to pay right. for it, and there's about eight or nine different elements that you have to book, so it's quite a complex booking. Okay. So our team can do all of that for oh, you, they do package, everything. It, yeah, package it all together and sell it to you as a package. Okay. So three amazing destinations, I guess, because Amadeus focused very much on Europe and then you've got the other continents covered. So which one would be the one that you would choose uh, in terms of destination first? I know, you're going to have to say all of them now. Yeah. But are there destinations you've talked about that you think I'd love to go there? Yeah, well, all of Asia. So yeah. every time I look at a panda or brochure or go onto the website or I, I speak to people about it, that just sort of lights a little flame inside me yeah. even more. Uh, for the food, the food is, oh, is yeah. one, one, one reason, definitely. But also, it's going to these places that I just can't imagine another way to get there. Yeah. And, and so that has got to be the, my next on the list. Okay. Strangely, and I've never done this before, I came back from the uh, American Cruise Line Mississippi yeah. trip. Uh, that night I got back, we put the Jane McDonald program on because uh, <laughs> I wanted to show my other half of this is, this is the type of thing we just done. And it made me want to go again immediately. Oh, right. And I've, n I've never really done it on any cruise across the world. Yeah. Have I ever felt immediately I need to go back? Why? Because the history, and people would say there's no history in America, but what they had in 300 years, yeah. there's a lot crammed yeah. into that time. Um, it was quite emotional. Um, they, uh, to give you one example, we, we went to one of the plantations and we were, um, this lady took us around and she showed us um, how the, the cotton picking happened. So right. we were actually yeah. cotton picking, which right. was great. Amazing. Um, and I obviously didn't wash those trousers because I've got them back out, all the, the, the shorts I was wearing, I've got them back out in June because it's hot in December. I've got to put my hand in my pocket and all this cotton ball. Oh, really? Like, oh, it's, I've been cotton picking. So, <laughs> so, um, so that, that was that was phenomenal, just, just imagining yeah. what was going on there. And then we got taken, so from the back of the, the beautiful mansion and plantation into this hut. Um, and it was very, very dark in there and it was Christmas time. And then this haunting Christmas music started coming out and you could hear these people singing and we we're sitting there thinking, oh, crikey, what's all this about and um, the lights came on slowly and there were three ladies and their great-grandparents were slaves who lived in the actual hut that we were in um, and now they've been uh, they're obviously being um, employed by the family yeah. to, to do that but I've never had a chill like it where yeah. you're in the place where, where the, the, this family were, were, were living um, against their will. So uh, you've got the, the great stuff, uh, yeah. but you also had this, this side of it, that a terrible part of history, but sure. something we should all know about. I guess. Yeah, and interesting to look at the history of these places that we visit. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I guess you have the contrast between New Orleans, which, as you say, is a crazy city, but then the countryside and the beauty of that as well. Yeah, so you've got, yeah, you've got, you can do a holy trinity. And this is something that we're, we're putting together. This is what we can do for you guys. So you start off in New Orleans. You can cruise all the way up to Memphis, spend your time doing Gracelands and Bill Street and uh, all the, all the sun, sun Studios. And then we can arrange for you to get down to Nashville. And you've got that holy oh, trinity of, of music thing. city. So, oh, interesting. Yeah, so really nice way if, if you've got customers that want to do it that way they don't want to have to get in a car and travel up and down or mm. do it on a on a on a uh, on a bus then this is a great way to experience it marvelous well i don't think you could have summed up three brands any better than that um so let's see if we have any questions no i see i need glasses now is it my mum <laughs> probably or my um so so how many ships go down the delta so that's the danube delta thank you amy for that question hello amy um yeah well we've we've got um a couple of itineraries that we've got that go down there so it'll be a couple of ships that we've got that do it okay. i think number wise there was something like 400 ships are on the danube at any one time right. and it goes down to something like four or six oh, really? so when really you get down to the delta so it really is a is, is a small amount so and worth uh, booking early book early Presumably. yeah and as part of as part of the clear cruise month we've got the uh, excursions included as well and, that, and that's one of the ones that we're promoting oh, that's great 
Uh, thank you, Amy. Uh, Lydia has been in touch. If the Americans like the European style ships, does that mean the paddle steamers will be mainly European guests? That's well, a great that's question. That's a great question. And, and that's kind of how we expected it. Um, but no, no, there were still. Oh, don't uh, ruin the great yeah. story. That's a good <laughs> There were still. Um, the, the, the vast That'll majority of people that go on there are American people. Okay. And there's a lot of people that um, live on the outskirts of America that have um, their um, idea of what the Mississippi is like as right. well. Right. I think the people that live on the Mississippi are a bit like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But if you're living on those coasts, then okay. it's a bit like us. So, okay, yeah. good stuff. Thank you for the questions. We are back with another Facebook Live very soon. Dave, how can people get in touch or find out more? Yeah, so we've got a, f a few things that you can do. Um, we've got our Fred Rivers um, website so you can go to uh, if you just type in Fred Rivers then it will come up with, with Fred Rivers hopefully, uh, hopefully. <laughs> um, but you can go onto our website and that will cover everything we've actually got a great travel agent portal and on that travel agent portal our brands sit on there and on there you will find um, the latest campaigns the latest offers um, you can download window cards, JPEGs to put on your website or on your Facebook pages. Um, and that's under www.agentfred.co.uk. Yeah, agent rolls off the tongue. Agentfred.co.uk, sign up <laughs> as, as, as an agent, and then you can just click on the brand that you're interested in, American Cruise Lines, you can print off these beautiful flyers, and these are updated every week. So everything you see on this travel agent portal is totally relevant, totally up to date, uh, and you can use um, straight away. Um, you can call us as well. I haven't got the number for the top no, of my please head. Don't. But, that's, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, sounded like an advert now. But <laughs> that's so lots of information uh, available, which is great. And as we said before, if you want to see the Amadeus ship, it is at the Clear River Cruise Conference in Amsterdam in November. Thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you. It's, it's lovely having lovely. you as a guest. Beautiful here in the. Uh, yeah, we're going to go and have a cocktail right now. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you very soon. Thank you very much. Have a good day.